In this tutorial, we are going to practice converting percentages into decimals and also change decimals into percentages. So what we have here is 9% and we have to express this as a decimal. Now remember, this percentage symbol stands for out of 100. So as a fraction, 9% can be expressed 9 out of 100. But we need to express this as a decimal, not as a fraction. However, if you are familiar with decimal place values, we can simply write the 9 in the hundredths place. So when we read this value, we can properly read this as 9 hundredths. And because we know a percentage is out of 100, we can look at this as 9 written in the hundredths place or 9 out of 100. Now another method that many people use to change percentages into decimals is by taking the percentage and then writing a decimal at the end of the given percentage if there already is not a decimal in the given problem. And then you take that decimal point and you move it two spaces to the left. So we would move it one place and then we have to write a zero. So we have two place values to skip over to the left. So we can say that 9% can be written as 0.09. Now the reason we can move the decimal point two spaces to the left is because a percentage is out of 100. In other words, we're taking 9 and we're dividing by 100. And whenever you divide by 100, it's making your value 100 times smaller. Let's try another example. Here we have 2%. So we can take 2, put a decimal at the end, and then move the decimal point two spaces to the left. And we have to add an extra zero here to do this. And we write it right here and get rid of where the decimal started. And now we have our answer, 0 0.02. Now another way that we can think about percentages is think about it as cents, as in dollars and cents. If you were asked to write two cents, we would write that exactly like this, 0 0.02. That's because a cent is one unit out of 100. So two cents or 2% would be two out of 100. And once again, we write the two in the hundredths place to show that we only have two out of 100. In this example, we have 20% that we have to express as a decimal. And instead of saying 20%, we can read this as 20 cents. And if you already know how to write 20 cents, just write a decimal and then the number 20. However, remember, when you have digits after a decimal, if the ending digits are zeros, you can eliminate those. So we can just get rid of this zero right here. So in simplest form, 20% as a decimal would be expressed as 0.2. Now let's understand that 2 is in the tenths place. So this would be read as 2 tenths. But really, a percentage is out of 100. So if we change this denominator of 10 to 100, or make it 10 times bigger, we have to make this numerator 10 times bigger, which would be 20. So really, 2 out of 10 is equivalent to 20 out of 100, which is the percentage of 20. For this example, we have 98%. And 98% would be written as 0. 98. So what we did is just write 98 in the hundredths place. Or if you have to put a decimal at the end, you can surely do that and then move that decimal point at the end two spaces to the left, which would still give you 0.98. Now with this example, we have 100%. And to express this as a decimal, we should understand that 100% means the whole thing. In fact, 100% means exactly one whole. So we would write 100% as just one. Now, it says express it as a decimal. So one would be exactly 1.0 or 1 point nothing, but writing 1.0 in simplest form would just be one. So sometimes when you are asked to express something as a decimal, you actually end up getting rid of the decimal if you have a whole number. And you could still follow the rule of putting a decimal at the end of the number and moving the decimal point two spaces to the left 
and you would still come up with one whole. In this case, it says 1.00, but that really is the same thing as one. Also, we know a percentage is out of 100, so if we were to write 100 out of 100, we would see that this is a fraction that would be equal to one whole. Now, because we know that 100% is equal to one whole, then 200% must be equal to two wholes. So if we were to write 200% as a fraction or 200 out of 100, we have an improper fraction that we can simplify to the number two. Now, sometimes you may be given a percentage with a decimal already in it. And of course, the rule still applies. You take this decimal point and you move it two spaces to the left. And that is because if you were to write that value out of 100, we are dividing by 100. And whenever you move a decimal point two spaces to the left, that will make that value 100 times smaller. Okay, now let's do the opposite of what we have been doing. Let's express given decimals as percentages. Let's start with the decimal 0 and 4 hundredths. Now notice this 4 is in the hundredths place. So we can just take that 4 and write it over 100 just to understand that its fractional equivalent would be 4 out of 100. And anything out of 100 is a percentage. So if the denominator is 100, then the numerator is automatically the percentage. So we can just write 4%. Now, when we were changing percentages into decimals, we were moving the decimal point two spaces to the left. Now we do the exact opposite. We can take our decimal point and move it two spaces to the right to turn it back into a percentage. So if we move this decimal point two spaces to the right, that would give us 4 point nothing or just 4. But remember, we have to write the percentage symbol after that number to indicate that this value is out of 100. Now, we must be careful. A lot of people, when they see something like 0 0.4 or a single digit after the decimal, think that that number after the decimal is the percentage. What I mean by that is many people would think that 0 0.4 is equal to 4%, but it is actually equal to 40%. Because if we follow the rule of moving the decimal point two spaces to the right, we would have to add an extra zero so we could have two place values to move over to the right. And 0, 4, 0 can be written as 40. And because we don't have anything after this decimal, we don't have to write it after the 40 and just write our percentage symbol after the number 40. So 0 0.4 is equivalent to 40%. And just the same, 0.5 would be equal to 50%, 0 0.6 would be equal to 60%, and so on. So if we look at 0 and 8 tenths or 0 0.8 and express that as a percentage, that would be equal to 80%. And 0 0.08 would be written as 8%. Because if we move this decimal two spaces to the right, it would place it directly after the 8. 0 0.58 as a percentage would be 58%. If we take this decimal and move it to place values to the right, that would give us exactly 58%. Regardless of how many digits are shown after the decimal point, the rule remains the same. Simply take your decimal point and move it two spaces to the right. So 0 0.755 can be expressed as 75.5% or 75.5%. Now once again, we take this value here, move the decimal point two places to the right, and that would give us 9.5%. So remember, when you are changing decimals into percentages, simply take the decimal point and move it two place values to the right. And when changing percentages into decimals, take the decimal point and move it two spaces to the left. 